In this video, we're going to demonstrate one of the ways to install a Konica Minolta BizHub network printer driver on your PC. Parts of this video are sped up, so feel free to pause at any time to take notes or follow along. Please note, in order for these steps to be successful, your computer must be on the same network as your network printer. If you're unsure about this, we do recommend that you go ahead and proceed with the steps anyways, because most of the time the printer will be discovered. If things don't work out, then simply contact your IT support specialist for your company. If you don't have IT support, feel free to give us a call and explore your next options. Our phone number will be located on the inventory tag number located on the front of your machine. You may need to know your printer's IP address. To locate this, head over to your Konica Minolta, access the touchscreen panel, enter your ID if required to see the main screen. Once you're at that main screen, Locate the Utility or Utilities button. Select Device Information and take note of your printer's IP address located here. It will look something like this. Now let's download a driver. Open your favorite web browser. We're using Firefox for this demonstration. Downloads will usually save to your Downloads folder and will be in a zip format. Navigate to datamaxarkansas.com. Click the Support button at the top right. Scroll down a little bit and click on Download Drivers. Click Konica Minolta Drivers. Type in your model number. Careful not to hit the Enter key on your keyboard, but let the search results populate as you begin typing. Then with your mouse, select your model. Select Drivers. Do not use the first tab shown in yellow. It contains a machine series-based driver, which is larger, more than 20 times the file size, only use it in the rare circumstance when you're not getting the print results you're looking for with the universal driver shown next. Select Drivers, Universal Printer, and choose the latest version that's available at the top of your page. Once the download is complete, locate the zip file, right click and select Extract All. After the extraction is complete, you'll want to open up the new folder and run the exe file containing the word Setup64. If this file does not run, you may have a 32-bit system or a 32-bit operating system. So if this file doesn't work out, simply go to this folder and run the setup file instead of the one that says setup64. Scroll down and select agree if you agree to Konica Minolta's license agreement. Select install. If your printer is not found in the search results, then select previous to choose manual settings and you can manually specify your printer's IP address. As you can see, there's a lot of printers in this environment. So having my IP address is very helpful. So in the search results, I'm gonna scroll down and place a check mark next to the printer that matches my IP, then click details. It's a really good practice to give your printer a name based off of where it's located, such as copy room, file room, workroom 2, etc. You can set your everyday defaults here as well. I prefer one-sided printing most of the time. I'm also going to change my printer. This is a color printer. I'm going to change this over to grayscale because I don't want to waste color. And once you're happy with your selections, click next, then install. The printer will install. This part may take a few minutes. If you have any additional settings you would like to make, then open your control panel, select devices and printers, right click on your printer, You'll notice you can set it as default here, and you can go to preferences and review any of the settings available to your model and set those as your everyday default if you needed to make any changes. This concludes the basic demonstration for installing the Konica Minolta driver, but for those of you who are using account track or user authentication with your Konica, where a pin code or some type of user details is required to do a print job, then if you open your preferences and access the basic tab, over here on the right hand side is where you can input your user or account track details. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.